your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. We are going to be holding on to some clouds out there today, but it will be a little bit warmer. And as the week rolls on, we're going to increase the sunshine and increase the heat as well until we get into Friday when the clouds thicken back up and the rain chances go back up as a cold front approaches the area. Until then, high pressure will continue that very warm flow over the next four days, blocking the rain off to the north. That high, though, does gradually weaken, allowing a cold front to sweep across the country with some thunderstorms along with it moving into our area late Friday to early Saturday. Much cooler air will be coming in behind this cold front as well. We're talking a 10 to 15 degree temperature drop for those high temperatures between Friday and Saturday. Rain chances at zero through Thursday. But rain chances bump up, especially late Friday through the first half of the day on Saturday as that cold front comes on through the area. So be prepared for those rain chances out there for the end of the week and also the big cool down that's coming in along with it. For the beaches, you're looking for highs in the mid to upper 70s over the rest of the week ahead and even upper 70s to low 80s for the inland areas before those highs are dropping to the upper 60s this weekend. So this afternoon with partly sunny skies, it'll be a warmer day than yesterday. We'll hit 73 in Myrtle's Inlet and North Myrtle Beach, 74 in Pauley's Surfside and Myrtle Beach, up to 77 in Socasty, Carolina Forest and Loris. Your high of 78 this afternoon in Conway, right along with Marion and Dillon, Bennettsville and Darlington, Rockingham and Lorenberg, maxing out at 79 in Florence, Johnsonville and Aner. Overnight, partly cloudy, watching out for some patchy fog to develop late upper 50s to low 60s for the overnight lows. It's a little bit milder for the next few overnights and still watching out for the possibility of some of the dense fog out there. Temps do climb to the upper 70s by Friday before that front comes in and then highs in the mid to upper 60s through the weekend and even into early next week. So a pop of cooler air is coming our way, but at least we're staying out of the 30s for the lows and 50s for highs and staying closer to those upper 60s for highs for many locations and seeing plenty of sunshine for your Sunday. It will be noticeably cooler though on Monday morning, especially wake up temps will be down to the mid 40s. So make sure you're keeping an eye on that Friday to Saturday cold front coming through. We'll keep you updated as the week rolls on. Just a reminder, watch your weather and win. We'll be giving away $500 starting the end of the month. And if you log on to CarolinaLive.com and register, you could double your chances by going to the News Channel 15, WPDE News Channel 15 Facebook page. If your name shows up on the screen there, you have 15 minutes to call that number and tell them the temperature of the day when we post it, and you have your chance of winning $500, whether that's 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. So make sure you register and have yourself a fantastic Tuesday. Your latest news and weather updates are always available on your website, CarolinaLive.com.